Alright guys, this is how to make your computer files on like episode 3. Um, this is all the episodes I've made put into one video, so it's like easy to track. So, I'll be making another one in about a month. Uh, but yeah, this is the videos that I've already made. Um, so, I'll just put it in the compilation so you guys can see it easier. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, and yeah, if you haven't seen this, watch. If you have, then click off, I guess. But yeah, subscribe. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Tim Watts, and today I'll be teaching you guys on how to make your computer faster. Hopefully I'll help you guys in this video. If you have a bad PC, like a laptop, anything, I will help you get it faster so you can get at least 10 more FPS to 20 FPS. If this don't work, guys, all you have to do is comment down below and I will help you, obviously, because you're doing something wrong. But this 100% works, guys. I know a lot of my comments in my last video were like, can I delete the temp files? Yes, you can. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just temporary files that you don't need anymore. And it won't delete any pictures or anything like that. The first thing I'm going to do is go down to my little search window down here. Click run and we're going to type in percent temp percent. And then click OK. As you can see, we've got all these temporary files that you legit can't use. As you can see, you cannot use it. So you don't need anything here. So what you do is press Command or Control A and then press Delete on your keyboard. And it should start deleting, as you can see. And if this comes up, so as you can see, I told you if, if, it, if you need it, it won't obviously turn off. So click do this for all current items and click skip if you don't want to delete them. Then put these current items continue. That just means that it can delete it. So here we go. The next step right now. So go back down here, click right click, go on to power options, and it actually does work on the PC as well, guys. But if you're on Windows 10, don't do it from here because this is bad. So what we'll do is go on to the Windows thing here and we'll type it in. So it'll come up normally in this. this. So we'll click choose a power plan and we'll put high performance. It it will probably be like this guys, balance recommended and you won't see high performance. You probably need to press this little thing here and then click high performance. And it works if you're on a laptop guys, it really does work when you're on a laptop. Not so much for PC, but it does improve. We're going to go down there again, right click. So we're going to go down there again and click and type in control panel and we're going to click enter. So on this control panel thing here, click uninstall our program and basically what it's do is free up uh, some memory I guess so your PC can run faster. So like Adobe Character Animator, um, stuff that you don't need guys, don't delete stuff that you need. I'm going to delete Pro and I don't need that. Some of this stuff guys you probably won't even know you have because you download stuff and it just like makes you download it without even asking. So yeah what you do to uninstall it, you right click and click uninstall slash change. But you can only do it one at a time, guys. So, so we're on the control panel again, guys. What we are going to type in is advanced, and it should come up with your advanced system settings. And then you're going to head over to the advanced, so it'll be over here. Just go to the advanced settings, and then click settings. And it'll probably be on let Windows choose what's best for my computer. That's bad. We don't want that because they just choose everything. So what we want is I tick some stuff because. I like my windows to look nice, but uh, if I just take all of them off like so, um, it doesn't really change anything to be honest, except from like the little reading text, but it does, this is probably the main thing that will help you, so I'm just going to change it back, so as you can see everything's going back to normal, and here we got everything's back to normal now, so as you can see if you tick certain boxes then windows changes, but you can do whatever you want guys, I'm just going to leave it as is because my, my PC is fine. The next thing we're going to do is go down to the Windows thing over here again and click Run. And this time we're going to put Prefetch. So just spell it how I do, guys. So Prefetch and then click Continue. Sorry about that noise. And as you can see, it's exactly same. It's exactly same as hashtag uh, percent ten percent. So here we go, guys. As you can see, there's a lot more stuff in Prefetch, and it's the same thing. You can delete anything without hurting anything. So. Control A or Command A, delete, and they are gone. So now we're going to go back to run again. And um, we're going to type in services. So I've got it up here services.msc, and then I'm going to click OK. And uh, as you can see, all this important stuff comes up. So I'm going to click on like anything random, just click on this and click S on your keyboard, S, and you're going to click it. Uh, as you can see, it comes to the S section. And we're going to find super fetch, so it is right here. 
I've already disabled it because I messed up my recording when I was doing it. But what you want to do is click stop and then you're going to head over to properties and make sure it's on disabled. And prefetch basically just, it says it, it makes your PC perform better but that's just a lie guys, don't believe that. Superfetch is only good when you have like a USB stick in um, helping it but it's not good. And obviously the next step is, I'm not, it's not really a, much of a step but when you're in your game guys, make it 1280p, you don't need 1080p guys. Like, if you have a bad computer, I guess you can put 480p, but 720p is pretty much like 1080p. Just don't overpower your computer, guys. The next thing I'm going to show you is go into your files, like this file. Go into wherever you save stuff not important, and you're basically going to delete them. So, like, I don't need this thumbnail, I don't need any of this. Um, I do need this Lightroom. Like, I don't really need much of this, so I'm just going to delete these two, and that frees up memory. But don't just stop there, guys. What you're going to do is go to your um, desktop and I'm going to show icons. So recycle bin and when you go into the recycle bin, let me open this. Uh, as you can see all the prefetch and percent uh, temp files are still on your computer. How do you delete them? Well, control A, delete and delete 700 items from your computer and that will free up so much memory guys. So this next tip I'm going to be giving you guys after this is done. So the next tip is probably the most effective one, I guess. So we're going to go to the files application again. And we're going to click this PC. And we're going to click on the Windows C drive here. We're going to click properties, right click properties. And uh, as you can see, this comes up. And this is really important, guys. So if you have your disk all the way out up to the, like, where it's about to explode, basically. Uh, as you can see, mine's nowhere near about to fa fail or whatever. So, uh, if yours was like up to here, you'd obviously want to clean it and make it go halfway or something. You just want to clear up some megabytes or gigabytes, whatever. So, what you'll do is click disk cleanup right here next to the little circle thing, and it should run a checkup. And here we go. We're going to scroll through and tick what we want. So, temporary files, we've already deleted them, but yeah. We're going to delete everything on here, so recycle bin. Everything, just tick everything, guys, uh, that you, it sees on the screen. And don't just click OK, you want to click Clean Up System Files. And it should start cleaning it. And as you can see, it, it does take quite a bit, guys. It probably takes like uh, 10 minutes uh, for the whole thing because you need to go through another step after this. So as you can see, when it is done, you guys are going to tick everything after it is done. Like this. All again, and then click OK and Delete Files. And as you can see, this is where it actually deletes all the files. It was just scanning to see if it can delete them or not. So this is where you delete the files. It does take quite a bit. And uh, whilst this is doing the clean up, I'm going to teach you another one. So there's something called a like uh, defender. So like in my case, I have Windows Defender, I believe. So as you can see, I've got Windows Defender and it just basically blocks any viruses from my computer to make it like run better so you need one of these uh virus protectors so when i go onto like internet when i'm about to download something it says if it's a virus or not uh it just can track it so i recommend getting a paid one but i just got one that came on my computer obviously just search onto the internet pc cleaner and that stuff like that if you really want to get into cleaning your pc so guys, it is all done now, so thank you for watching this video, it really does mean a lot guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want a episode 4, I believe, uh, then just leave a comment down below and like this video, let's hit 100 likes in this video, last video got 200 likes, so let's do it guys. I'll see you in my next video, make sure you like and subscribe, peace out guys. What is up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today it's going to be a collaboration with Mars. This is his channel, he has an awesome channel, he uploads tutorials and he does some. He does sometimes upload PC builds. So go check him out guys. And also mine. 
and make sure you guys subscribe down below and leave a like 100 likes would be appreciated and let's hit 2.7k before my birthday my birthday is on the 25th of may so let's hit that before 25th of may and yeah guys i'll see you in my next video follow my social medias down below and peace out today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to increase the performance of your pc so that you can have a faster pc in general and boost your fps on games if you're into that kind of stuff so this video is mainly going to be made for people who have older pcs or really bad pcs so essentially if your pc runs kind of like a toaster then this video will hopefully be a good video for you if your pc still lags after this video then i can't really say much else other than to maybe invest in another computer as yours is probably getting outdated if you do have a newer computer there's a chance that you might not just have like a graphics card or something that you're missing out on so you should definitely look into that anyways before i get started i just want to say thank you guys so much for 19,000 subscribers and other than that let's get on with the video so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is open up your file explorer so you're, po you're probably just gonna see a little folder icon on the bottom like of your taskbar and once you're here just go ahead and click on this pc and in some cases it might be called my computer or my pc or something like that but once you're over here just go ahead and right click on your c drive and make sure that the little like letter right here is a c right click on that click on properties and once you're over here just click on disk cleanup and from here it's just gonna calculate how much space you'll be able to free on your computer and once you get over here just go ahead and click on every little thing that you can and what this is going to be doing is just going to clean up any junk files you might have. So once you're done, actually click on all the available options. As you can see, this doing this is just going to clean up almost 15 gigabytes on my computer. But from there, just go ahead and click on OK and just click on delete files and just give it a couple of minutes as it is going to be deleting a lot of files. But trust me, these are files that you're not really going to need because they are in like places that you wouldn't actually keep them. Basically, you're recycling bin your temporary files and stuff like that. And from there, once you've given it a few minutes to actually delete everything that was wasting space on your hard drive, what you want to do is just go ahead and click on the tools tab and then click on check. And once you click on this, it's going to ask you to scan your hard drive. So just go ahead and click on scan drive. So essentially what this is going to do is just scan your hard drive for any like system errors or anything that you might be able to fix so since i have a solid state hard drive it's just going to take about two minutes but there's a chance that yours might take a bit more and as you can see your hard drive was successfully scanned windows successfully scanned the drive and no errors were found if you did have any errors that were found it would show you them and how you can fix them so you should definitely go ahead and check this periodically throughout like maybe once a month or something like that but once you're done with that just go and click on this optimize button that's right under the check button and from here we'll actually just be able to optimize our hard drive and optimizing your hard drive is basically just defragging it and it will make your hard drive run much faster as of late windows has been trying to optimize your hard drive whenever it can but as, as you can see my last run optimization was at 10 15 which is literally yesterday at almost 24 hours ago 12 55 a.m i'm recording this at 12 17 a.m so it tries to optimize your hard drive in a time that you're not actually going to be using your computer a quick note here is that you really don't need to optimize your hard drive if you're going to be using a solid state hard drive in your computer. This is really only going to benefit your computer if you still use a mechanical hard drive as your main hard drive or for your operating system. But in reality, there is no harm with going through and defragging your PC, so don't worry about messing anything up. All you have to do is just click on the C drive and then just go ahead and click on optimize. I'm not going to do that right now just because mine literally ran less than 24 hours ago. Otherwise, I would just go ahead and do it for the video, but it's really not worth it for me. But once you're done with that, just go ahead and click on close and you can go ahead and click on okay from here but essentially once you're done with all that good stuff all you have to do is just go up here and for the next step we're going to be going to our control panel so from here just type in control panel and uh, honestly you don't even have to type in all of it you can probably just type in c-o-n-t or something like that and it should show up right there so once it does show up just, just go ahead and click on it and once you get here you want to go to the top right where the search bar is and type in power options and uh, again same thing applies you don't even have to type in all of it you just have to type in some of it and once you see it just go ahead and click on it and from here you're going to see a choose or customize a power plan so um you're going to see three options but there's a chance that you might not see this third one which is going to be the additional plan so all you might have to do is just go and like click on this button to like minimize it or maximize it and the thing is that these two might be switched the high performance one and the power saver one more than likely your computer is already going to be on the balanced one but what you want to do is look for the high performance one and essentially this is going to be using all of your computer's resources and by doing so it's actually going to be using more energy from your computer but when it is using all of your computer's resources that aren't normally used it's going to be able to help your fps a lot and basically increase the performance of your computer which is essentially the main purpose of this video but once you have it on high performance you're basically good to go from there so from there you can just go and click on back and once you've clicked on back what you want to do is just click the little x there basically just backspace all of what you had typed in and from there just type in advanced system settings and as you can see i only type in the word advanced and i can see configure advanced user profile properties or view advanced system settings but what we want to do is view advanced system settings so just go and click on that and from here you want to make sure that you're on the advanced tab make sure you're in the performance box and then click on settings and from here what you want to do is click on adjust for best performance and then click on apply and then okay so what i'm going to be doing is actually just canceling it because 
because I don't really need to do that because I do have a pretty solid computer. But essentially what's going to be going on here is it's just going to be getting rid of the animations that basically make your windows look cooler but it's really not needed and it uses more power and energy and by doing so it actually makes your computer slower. So if you have an older computer, if you just change it to adjust for best performance, it's going to untake everything and your computer is going to be way faster. If your windows theme ends up looking like funny or like older or something like that or maybe your computer's older or something like that, the changing the look of your operating system is going to help your computer perform much better than it was previously. If you're really like upset about how your computer looks or something like that, all you have to do is just go back to the settings and just go ahead and click on adjust for best appearance and just click on apply on okay. But trust me, it's really not that worth it. I like to keep mine at custom. Um, I don't even know if I can go back to my custom. Hold on. And as you can see, this is what I like on my computer. I don't like some of the things that are there. So if you do want to copy what I have, go ahead. But I really do recommend just adjusting it for best performance. Click on apply and then click on okay. And the last thing that I want you guys to do is click on the windows key on your keyboard and then click on the R key and you should see the little box that shows up kind of like the one that I'm at right here and what you want to do is type in the percent symbol TEMP and then another percent symbol from there just click on OK and once you get here you can see a bunch of random folders and probably a couple DAT files there's a chance that you might not see the little extension on each of the things but you might just see the normal name for it what you're going to do once you get here just click on control A and then click on the delete key and from here it's going to say you'll need to provide administrator permissions to delete folders so click on do this for all current items and then click on continue there's a chance that it might say this action cannot be completed because the folder file is currently being used by another program so just click on do this for all current items and click on skip and from here it's just going to be getting rid of a bunch of junk files that you have in a computer that your computer is not really using and it did use at one point in time but it really hasn't ever used it again so don't worry you're not going to be losing anything that you actually need and the few things that I didn't let you delete are basically things that are still being used right now so I'm actually using the Nvidia Corporation thing I know that for sure and Skype is actually open right here so I know that all these things are actually being used but essentially this is just going to be deleting all of your temporary files so you might not be able to delete some of them as I just said your PC might still be using them but it's going to help your PC a ton and you'll definitely be able to tell on an older machine compared to a newer one but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button share this video with your friends and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already because I am on my way to 20,000 subscribers and all hope is appreciated. If you didn't make it to the end of this video, I just want to say this video was meant for older computers and computers that don't really run as well as they should, basically like a toaster or something like that. If your computer still lags after this video, I really recommend just saving up and maybe investing in a newer computer because chances are your computer is pretty old. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.